started. Um, so I'd like to call the meeting to order. And um, our first business is to approve the minutes, which I will bring up um, on the computer. Here. And so these minutes, is everyone seeing them? Yes. Um, yes. These minutes are a little, I made a few changes from the original ones that were submitted. The one thing was I had September 28th here because I used the same, you know, sort of format um, and changed it to October 26th. And then I just put somewhere else, I put a punctuation mark in. But anyway, does anyone have any changes, additions, or et cetera, to the minutes? Check that I spelled your name correctly. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Do you have a change, Dan? Uh, no. Um, okay. No, oh, it's very good. Uh, from my perspective. Okay. Do I have a, a motion to approve? Uh, moved. Okay. Second. All in favor of approving the minutes, say aye. 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 <laughs> um, opposed? Okay. Um, all right. So we have... Um, a opportunity for any public to comment at this time, or or you can comment at any time throughout the meeting, but you have to put your hand up. Oh, hi, Ray. Hey, we got everybody. Um, we, but, hey, Margie. Yes. Hi, Ray. Um, but you have to put your hand up if you're in the public and Ian will um, bring you on. Okay, so we will proceed then um, with announcements. Um, the first announcement I have um, is from We Conserve PA. I think Dan went to one of these um, network conferences through them already, and I've gone to some, um, but there's a network conference coming up on February 24th. It's going to be virtual and it's that's a Saturday. Um, registration is not yet open, but I wanted to mention it for any of you that want to attend. Um, let me know, I'll send you the information. But also they're asking uh, whether we'd like to hold what they call lightning session, um, which is we would tell something that we, the Radner EAC has been doing. Um, I mean, I thought of the yard program we could talk about. Um, if you all think that's something worth bringing up, any or something else you would um, well, want so, us to share. Yeah, the the energy audit uh, of energy the audit. Uh, which. I believe a report it will be due uh, next month. Okay. Preliminary one, at least. Okay. So that's a good idea. On where we could improve energy uh, conservation and uh, feasibility of uh, switching to renewable energy. Okay. Anything else? Okay, so please I mean, I, let me know. Yes. 
Yeah, I was just going to say, I know, you know, I still feel like we're sort of at the beginning of our student ambassador program, and we're just starting to kind of align with the schools and figure out that educational component. But that might be of interest to others on how we're approaching okay. that and what, what we're trying to do. Okay. Okay. Anyone interested in attending this or giving a lightning session? Margie, what, <clears throat> I'm sorry, what's the date of it? Uh, Saturday, February 24th. And I believe it's virtual. Yes, it's virtual. So you don't, you don't have to show up anywhere. <laughs> They don't have a time yet. They're usually a good part of the day, though. I mean, you don't have to be there for the whole thing, like three or four hours anyway. Um, yeah. But when I get more information, I'll let you know. But I wanted to, you know, since we don't have a meeting next month, I did want to, you know, get started on some things. Okay. So um, yeah, do let me know if you're interested, um, which leads me, of course, to my second announcement, which is that there's no meeting next month. So our next meeting will be the fourth Thursday of January, which I believe is the 25th of January. So that's like a full two months off. So yeah. Does anyone else have any announcements? Is, is there a reason we don't have a meeting next month or is it just? Uh, they always make, this is just like on the books this way. Um, they make, this is really the November, December meeting. Um, <clears throat> and they've always done this. I think because over in December that we have a hard time getting people to attend because there's so much going on. Um, yes. So maybe that's the history of it. Yeah, but it's since I've been with the group that's been this way. I mean, we could we could question that. We could ask for another meeting, I'm sure. Well, certainly the third and fourth week of December is crazy. Right, right. And pretty much a lot starts already beginning of December, I think. Yeah. I mean, I'm certainly not opposed to having a meeting earlier in December. It seems like a long time to go, you know. Is yeah. I don't. I don't know at this point we can schedule it. Um, I can check with Melissa. Um, I you know, just well, I'm going to talk later about the lectures, but just getting free dates for anything is, is not that easy. Um. Uh, all right. So does anyone have, here we have a chat. I'm having trouble unmute. Oh, Carol, Carol is having trouble um, with her unmute. Carol. She um, probably didn't join with the panelist. Link. I, I don't, yeah, did you, Carol, did you join with the panelist link? I imagine she did. If not, Ian can send her one or he can, yeah. so we can see her on the screen as well. Um, she is joined as a panelist. I think she might be having a microphone issue. Well, we also can't he had trouble see last her month. on the screen. Yeah, we. she had trouble last month as well. Could be her computer. Well, Carol, if you have something, put it in the chat. Um, okay. 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 She said she'll keep trying. Um, all right. So does anyone have any other announcements? All right. So our next agenda item is update from the green team. Dan, take it away. Uh, well, as already mentioned, uh, there is an ongoing energy audit of the uh, Radnor Municipal Building 
and the Public Works Building, and also the Sulpizio Gym. Uh, and the goal being to update the specifically the HVAC systems and any insulation, uh, lighting, uh, such that we use less, less energy to lighten and air condition and heat these buildings. Uh, I just received an email from Melissa who wasn't able to attend tonight's meeting uh, and to uh, reporting that the township is applying for an another local shares account grant for the purchase of five electric vehicles. That's in addition to the two uh, F-150 uh, Lightnings, uh, their special service uh, pickup trucks uh, for the police department. And also the grants uh, would uh, seek purchasing and installation of roof mounted solar PV arrays on the township building. And the solar array would fee the EV charging stations as well as the building itself. Wow. Uh, the charging stations are, are, I believe will be, uh, are being installed if not installed already uh, because we're expecting the uh, F-150 Lightnings uh, pretty soon. Okay. That'd be great to have the solar arrays um, feeding the charging stations. Yeah. Because the whole concept of electric vehicles is really only valid if you're getting your electricity from, right. you know, <laughs> from a... Um, non-fossil fuel source. Um, yeah. The other thing is I uh, approached my uh, the SILA, uh, you know, SILA, S-I-L-A, they uh, manage HVAC systems in homes. And I talked to uh, the fellow who's uh, doing the maintenance uh, for my HVAC whether he knows of anyone who can talk about uh, sub-zero heat uh, sourced um, uh, heat pumps uh, as part of our education series uh, for the community. So he got very excited and he's aware of somebody. So he's going to get back to me about that. But it would be ideal have a, a someone who's not associated necessarily with Mitsubishi or one of the main manufacturers yeah. who's familiar with all the different brands of uh, sub-zero heat pumps uh, to talk about it. Um, so uh, stay tuned. Okay, sounds good. Any questions for Dan? Thank you. Well, that leads us right into the next topic. So I was going to ask if anyone has, um, you know, gotten any where with the lectures, but I have. Um, so I've um, gotten a an okay from someone from Jenkins Arboretum to give us a lecture on starting a native plant garden. Um, we just have to iron, we're we'll back and forth about the times. I was hoping it to be like in late March, April, you know, but um, they can do it in February. So I'm just waiting to get the their choice of dates. And then I need to check, of course, with Ian to find out if those are available. Um, so it's, one of the ladies from Jenkins that gives uh, talks about native plants. And then I also have um, Solarized Delco. So I've been communicating with Melissa, forget her last name. Um, and she's agreed to give us um, like a workshop on, um, on, you know, how to go about starting to consider solar panels. And um, 
the nice thing about this workshop will be they have a graduate student, an engineering graduate student, who will be available to consult with people after the lecture. Um, and then I, I don't know if Sarah's here or not. Um, I emailed Sarah, who has recently gotten solar panels on her house and would be like a, a testimonial, a Radnor resident testimonial. Um, so it should be like something a little different, hopefully, something very practical for people that are wondering about, you know, solar. Um, and that's going to be in March, and we're back and forth with the dates as well. So um, I, you know, I really think I'll get these ironed out in the next few weeks so that we can adequately um, advertise it, because I think they're going to be really, really practical, useful um, lectures slash workshops. Um, yeah, so... And then, you know, Dan, you just mentioned about the, if you want to follow up on that, you know, that would be good. So we, it looks like we have February and March. Mm -hmm. um, so January and April would be potential months to do it. Um, yeah. a, a couple of questions. Um, are you looking at nights or are you looking at Saturday mornings? I'm looking at, so mainly Saturdays because the rat, the township is so booked up on yeah. evenings, but also according to what the speakers can do. So yeah. if they can only do something that's not available at the township, um, I'm going to look around at the Willows, even though I know they, they charge for it. I, you know, maybe the township would, would kick in for that. It's not a big charge. Um, and I was thinking of the library, but I think they're not very amenable to doing other people's um, workshops because I contacted them before and got no response. Um, what about Villanova? Yeah, I, I, I don't really have a contact there, but it might be somewhere, something we could do. Although, the, you know, Villanova... My, I think the town should be nice because it's so easy to park. You park right there. Yeah. You know, Villanova is kind of daunting as far as the parking. <laughs> um, we could, you know, we, we could also probably do Bolinbroke. Bolinbroke, Bolinbroke okay. Mansion oh, next to St. Martin's sure. Church. Yeah. How is that spelled? Bolingbroke. Bolingbroke. Okay. Broke. Okay. Yeah. B O L I N G B R O K E. Okay. It's owned by the church, by St. Martin's Church. Oh, so you would you would go through St. Martin's for this? Or it's just located? Yeah. Okay. We'd go through St. Martin's. Okay. What about the Saturday? My wife's the admin. Okay. Ray has it in. <laughs> I you have it in. Is he up there? Archie, what about this? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm 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 the I'm a part-time sexton at St. Martin's and okay. my wife's the admin. So okay. we we've done so and normally there's not too much going on there, but it's an option. It's it's a good oh, that facility. That's like a great option, yeah. Do they charge? It's, it's just so, it, uh no. Well they they for, for maybe for not main for us. Okay, great. Yeah. It, and Marty, what about yeah. Yeah. Margie, I know nothing about it, but what about the Saturday Club? I guess they would charge too, right there in the center of Wayne. Yeah, I know. I don't know anything about them either. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my only comment is January. I'm always that. This is just my thought. I'm always afraid if we get a snowstorm, and you know, it's got to be. Canceled. Yeah, it would be good to have a virtual one on January. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean the the solarized one. She definitely wanted in person. Um, the native plant one, you know, she for in February, she I think would go either way. Um, yeah. Do we have any have it? I'm oh, sorry. No, I was just I'm sorry, real quick. Could we have it at Jenkins? Because don't they have a nice auditorium or not auditorium, but meeting room or something? They do have a meeting. They they charge oddly oh. enough extra for yeah. it. Yeah. No, that's okay. They've got yeah. to make money. 
Um, in terms of the substance, um, do we have anyone who's kind of a local expert on recycling or any of us, would any of us, or is there someone at the township that maybe, I feel like it would be helpful to, um, you know, walk folks through how to recycle, what not to recycle, kind of the real basics of it, just because it's something that everybody hopefully is doing. And I think a lot of people are doing wrong. Um, I don't know if that would be a standalone, like, I don't know if that would fill an hour, okay. but maybe I, if people have it, questions. Yeah, Lisa, that's a great idea. Uh, years ago, I talked to uh, a fellow at the uh, public works building uh, when I was creating a slide presentation for our church on trash and recycling. Uh, and I would think it would be, it would be a good uh, on uh, who to give an update or, or guidance on the recycle and really also <laughs> where the stuff is going. Uh, all of us are kind of real confident uh, a lot of it is going where we want it to go. Uh, yeah, and, actually, that's a good point, because then we could also make part of the conversation about where the trash is going and talk about the incineration of trash, which uh, right. I know some of us were surprised to learn several years ago that that's really what happens to all of our trash. Um, so that's why we should be recycling. And then the other piece of that is let's make sure we're recycling correctly so it, it doesn't. Um, yeah. I mean, at, at the time I, I prepared these slides, uh, it was you know, 10, 12 years ago, uh, he said the township had to pay, I believe it was Republic, uh, uh, $50 a ton to take the stuff because there mm -hmm. wasn't a, a big enough market uh, for uh, the recycled uh, plastic and even aluminum. Uh, That's probably much higher now because there's yeah, I'm a, sure there's a much still smaller pain. market for the, the the recycling now that China isn't taking the waste. That's right. Yeah, they the they recycling. Uh, oh, was it 2017, 2018? Yeah, some that sounds something some sometime around then. Um, so would you? Um, you I could. I was gonna say, would you feel like you, you're up to speed to be able to cover that piece of it, or would you want to see if we could bring someone else in to speak with us? We could also, it doesn't have to necessarily be your lecture, it could be more of a discussion if we want, you know, if we wanted to format it that way. Um, yeah. No, definitely we need an update. Uh, so it has to be somebody in the thick of, of the whole process now. So I, I could talk to somebody at, at the uh, Public Works building and uh, and, that would be great. Melissa might know she's not. It just looks like she's not on tonight, but yeah. she might not know who the right point person is, or, or you know, or if you have a contact there, then they can probably help you. Yeah, um, I just I just walked into the building that time. I was lucky the guy was there. Um, um another idea is um, if you all haven't been to Mainline Shift in Narber. They're like a refillery store. You should, everybody should go. Um, and like low waste store, I guess. Um, one of the women who owns it is a Ratner Township resident. And they give lectures on like low waste living. That What's the name again? Shift. That's a great resource that yeah. people know yeah. about. Thanks, Danelle. Well, yeah. yeah, that would dovetail well with what I believe this fellow from Public Works is going to say is that, no, a lot of this stuff is not going where we want it to go. Uh, yeah, so they concentrate on like, you know, no plastic use and sustainable right. like cleaning products and stuff like that. So that could, you know, I think that would be an interest in you know, maybe a new subject that we haven't like specifically talked about yet. I know we've talked a lot about recycling to people over the years. Well, so I can oh, send like an These ideas would like to follow up on them and, um, you know, please follow up on them. And Ian is the yeah. person with whom you arrange the times. 
Um, okay. Do we have, do we know when we might have approval on a, um, honorarium? Well, that's not until next year's budget, but they, yeah, they remember they said they would kick in for an honorarium. Um, so if it's like a hundred, $150, um, okay. yeah, I think that's not going to be a problem. This, this year you're saying Margie. Yeah. Yeah. If, we, if before the new budget goes into effect, which I guess is July, um, I think that, you know, if we request $150, they're not going to have a problem with it. Okay. Yeah. So just a I'll general question. For that one. Just a general question in terms of the logistics. Do, are these normally approximately a one hour lecture? Is that the intent? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. And is it anything that we would record? Would we offer a virtual if option? If it's Zoom, they, they can record it if it's via Zoom. If it's live, to my understanding, it doesn't get recorded. But in is that correct? Uh, my, if they if they take place in the Radnorshire room, we can record. Um, any okay. yeah. Radnorshire room, okay. And if we just do it via Zoom, um, as long as we probably have a Zoom ID someplace, like they should still be able to be recorded and then, then we could post it on our website? Right. Is that, okay. Okay. I think so. Can I just interrupt here a minute because um, Ian, Sarah had her hand up to talk. Um, so can you let Sarah in? Hi, Sarah. Hi. <clears throat> First thing I know, Margie contacted me this afternoon and asked me if I would give a testimonial on the use of solar. You need to know that I put my solar panels on my roof before Solarized Delco got active. Oh, you did? Oh, okay. I thought it was more recent. No. Okay. And I do more than just have solar panels on my roof. <clears throat> I do a lot of other conservation issues, not the least of which is splitting out my electricity to time of use. And I have a plug-in hybrid, which I charge every night between midnight and 6 a.m., so it costs me four cents a kilowatt hour rather than 20 cents a kilowatt hour. But I, because of having had my identity stolen, I am loath to take my the freeze off my credit reports, which is what I needed to do to buy my panels. So I lease my panels. I still get all the benefits. I can't have a battery to right. store, but I sell back to Pico. I'm more than willing to speak, but um, you might want to get someone else. I did want to suggest to you as well that John Butler would be an excellent speaker for um, recycling because he knows the latest. The township is not necessarily doing the latest. And it's my understanding that the county is throwing another charge for every ton, because what happens is our recycling goes, our trash, it's our trash, uh, goes to the transfer station and the town, the county tax on a charge and then it goes to the incinerator. And the rules and the regulations are changing dramatically. So John Butler, and I can send you his email, uh, would be an, he's really up on what is being done with recycling. Yeah, Sarah, um, thank you. Send it, send it to me. Uh, it, unfortunately, right. you know, it sounds like it, it's really a, important then to know how to cut back on our trash. Right, I'll send it to you, Dave. Thank you. That's all that I wanted to say. Hey, thank you, Sarah. Okay, um, so let's go back to what we were talking about, um, which I forget. <laughs> where, 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 where are we done? I think we have 
um, some good ideas for more lecture. Yeah. So yeah, we please, can follow up on Please those follow then. up on them. Um, and, you know, you can either check with Ian directly or with me, but um, Ian is the one who knows availability in the township building. Um, if it's a time when the speaker can't make it, then we can start looking other places, um, like through Ray or, um, you know, Willows or, or something. I also have someone from Stonely. I've talked to them about presenting and they're they're interested as well. Okay, what would they be presenting on? Well, I guess, you know, there again, it would be more native plants and how, you know, Stonely has come about and their whole, you know, kind of uh, philosophy behind their um, gardens. Okay. I mean, we could have, depending on what we, want them to speak on uh, right. but well, I have they them. also they also have a room too. Pardon? Pardon? they also have a, a room if we needed a space okay well, that's good um yeah i i do have someone now that's presenting on the native gardens um from jenkins arboretum yeah Anybody else? Okay. Um, then we'll move on to other updates. Um, we did send the letter to Newtown Township that we discussed last meeting. Um, and um, I did not, we, we sent it to the Newtown Township EAC, which um, I think it, um, Moira told us to, um, and there was no acknowledgement of it. Although in one of the many emails I was CC'd on, um, they did say thank you for all to all the people who sent letters. So that was, I guess, sort of an acknowledgement. Um, then the the lecture on composting was a dismal failure in that um, there, although 20 some people registered, only three showed up and one of the three was me. And and Donnell was there in the beginning. Donnell was, mm -hmm. uh, so it was four. I think we need like, I want to request like that we put out a graphic on social media that has the lecturer's photo and the time and date. Like it can't just be in the newsletter. Like we really need support from the township. But we did get so, injured. We got 20 some people registering. That's You can so, only expect for something that's free, 30% of the people to actually yeah. come. Yeah. And so, so like, it's just, I'm not surprised. I think we need a hundred people to register for these things, especially <laughs> online. Yeah. Um. I, so I'm just not surprised that it didn't turn out, that there wasn't a good turnout. We need it to be like posted on Facebook. We need images. We can't just have a sentence in a newsletter email. Was there a reminder sent to the folks who registered like the day of? Because I think I don't that know. would be helpful. Oh, yeah. Or like a add this to your calendar option. Because I, yeah. I don't know if we have the capability to do that. Um, Me neither. But I, I think, think that's that's right. Right. people might be interested and then they just forget when it yeah well the two coming the two that are pretty definite apparently will be live well at least the one will be live so, i'm happy to make the graphics if the township will actually post them somewhere okay and i'm happy to follow whatever like guidelines that they have about what the graphics need to look like or anything like that um but we just need to like be out there more about it. I agree. And I think you've got to have reminders because people forget. All right. And then I have some other updates if I can read my writing. Oh yes. Um, so the native plant giveaway, although it might seem far away, it's not. <laughs> um, I, Last year, of course, we did it with Radnor Conservancy, who, um, although a number of us helped repot the plants, she really did the bulk of the work. She did the ordering. She received all the plants. She did the registration. 
Um, so I contacted Amber a couple times uh, from, she's the new director of Brenner Conservancy and have not heard back, which may not be a good sign. Um, so I am asking you if we don't get Radnor Conservancy to work with us, if you all still want to do this, because it would take all hands on deck. Um, we can't do this just with one or two people. And I would need someone who can host the plants, like receive them. Um, my yard is really small. I really don't have the space for it. Um, so we'd have to be, if we're doing this on our own, we'd have to be all committed to it. And <clears throat> if we want to have it near Earth Day again this year, Earth Day is on the 22nd. So if we're having on a Saturday, it would either be April 20th or April 27th. Um, so what do you all think? Um, uh -huh. I'd love to do it, but I really need each person to kind of agree to help out. I have a couple of questions slash comments. One, is there nowhere the township can store the plants? We would have to store them on our own property, question mark. I also don't have space. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but I think it's worth asking. Well, they do um, have, you know, they do have land, but someone needs to look after them too and water them every so often. Yeah. And then, I mean, but we also employ landscapers and garden people and... I know that they can't do the whole thing probably, but they do have like a whole staff of people who mow lawns and weed eat and spread pesticides. So I'm, I'm at, there might be some support there if we ask. And the other thing was maybe this could be a volunteer opportunity for the high school students on the day of to help. Or even is there a place at the high school that they could be stored and this could be part of like they could take care of the plants on a daily basis or, or something like that. Just throwing some ideas out there because I do think it was a really good idea. And if the Willows or um, the Conservancy can't help out, you know, I, I don't want to let go of it if we can find solutions. So, Margie, so the Conservancy doesn't have the person power to repop? I don't know. The thing, I'm jumping a little bit to conclusion because I haven't heard back from Amber. Okay. Um, but then that's, you know, I don't hear back from lots of people. <laughs> um, so I don't know. She just has been very busy and hasn't gotten back to me yet. I emailed her twice. I'll have to text her and I think I'll get maybe an answer. Or maybe she doesn't want to do it and is <laughs> avoiding me. I don't know. Um you know, I don't want to, this is all volunteer stuff. I don't want to be too obnoxious. Um, right. And I mean, But you're right. It was a big deal because Gretchen had ordered all those plants and she had that space and she had tables all set up. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah. I mean, it was, um, you yeah. definitely need to have the extra space. Yeah. Um, yeah, we, you know, then we'd have to have a little facilities for the re repotting and everything, which was substantial. Um, yeah. So we're not looking for a place to hand out the potted trees. We would no, 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 the plants. No, just, we'll have we'll ask the township again for the same space we had last year. Um, but it's just I was just trying to hear from everybody whether you would be able to help out in some capacity. Um, I'd be happy to uh, help out. Uh, I do have some land that's kind of open. Uh, it's not particularly pretty, so it doesn't matter if there's a bunch of pots sitting on it. Okay. It's right here in town, up yeah. North Green Avenue, so it's convenient. And maybe we could talk to Gretchen and find out, you know, where she ordered the plants well, from. Yeah, I'd have to do that too, yeah. And I'd have to get the okay from the township to um pay for the whole thing because we have that in the budget for next year but not for this year so the whole thing would be you know 800 plus dollars 
Did the conservancy pay for it last year? We we split it last year. We split it. Well, they paid for a little more. We split the cost of the plants, uh, but the conservancy paid for the soil and the pots as well. Yeah. I wonder if anyone else would be willing to sponsor if the township isn't willing to pay for it, if Jenkin or Stonely would be willing to be sponsors of the soil or the space or the plants, vice versa. Well, you know, that's a possibility that once again takes somebody to make all yeah. these connections. Um, yeah. What about the willows? Um, it, it, the whole thing could be done there, potting and handing out if they could let us have the space. Yeah, but somebody has to take ownership of the plants because they have to be watered and looked right. after them. Yeah. Well, it, yeah, that could be handled. Uh, and uh, it's just whether they're willing to surrender the space for, what, two weeks? A week? I don't know. She had the plants for several weeks before really? we, we repotted them, yeah. Well, yeah, question is, is that because of they weren't available until over two yeah, weeks? Margie, I'm happy to help offline, like write emails or figure out the logistics. Because um, yeah. it sounds like we just need to do some footwork on it. But I think we're all in agreement that we want to try to do it. So I don't I don't know. I haven't heard from everybody yet. <laughs> no, I, I I'm would help. I'm in agreement for it. Yeah. Um. I I think we could talk to Gretchen and, and maybe, you know, she's still around. I mean, I see her at the gym. I mean, maybe okay. she would be willing to help us. What are her at the gym, Carol? I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's find out from Radnor Conservancy what's going on and how much help they were expecting. Uh, I, I if, if we are considering taking on some of the potting and stuff, I could talk to Howard Holden. He's a neighbor. I know him. He's on the uh, uh, the Willows uh, Restoration Committee. Uh, yeah, the potting is not the, the biggest deal. It's just, it's just, you know, the ordering, the receiving, the registering, there's all of that um, that goes into it too, that I didn't, I didn't do last year that well, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of surprised if if Radner Conservancy couldn't. Yeah, well, I'll keep it. I'll keep checking with her. I really hope. She Margie, I, I think Radner Conservancy just had their big fundraiser within the last couple of weeks. I, yeah. I think so. She's probably been busy with that, especially as the first you know first time she's gone through it. So I'm I I personally am not worried that she's not getting back to you. She's probably just been slammed. But also, we really should put together um, a, a list of what has to be done and what we think the time is and what we think the expenses are, so that when you go to Amber, who's also never done this before, and say, you know, do you want to split this? Do you want to partner with it? She knows, as we do, what exactly the components we're talking about, because it doesn't seem like we just need to go A, B, C, D, E, F, G till sale day, I think. It, it sounds like some of us, myself included, are like, wait, we have to do what? We have to do this? We have to do that? <laughs> All right. I think we need to just what, what do we really need to do from ordering to to the bitter end? Right. And then when you speak to Amber, she'll have an idea of what she can can put forth too. <clears throat> well, she did the tree giveaway, so I think she's she knows what's going on. Okay then. Well, I would stay in touch with her. Try and stay in touch with her. Anything else? Um, I had something else. Um, nope, I guess that's my other update. Yeah. Can I ask a question about the other updates? Yes. A quick question on the, the flags. Are we st taking pictures and are they getting uploaded? Or do they, are, is there some sort of a do we have to get a sign off or something? You know, Melissa was looking into that at one point. I may have missed it. Um, 
you know, that as far as from a privacy perspective, what we could post them. Do you know anything about that? Well, yeah, we have to, we have to get, Melissa gets the permission. So we just give the information. So we send the photos to Melissa and then Melissa follows up with. Right. But as far as I know, we've given a few, a few names, addresses and photos and nothing has been uploaded as far as I know. Okay. Yeah. Because I think that would be nice to have it. You know, mm -hmm. this, some of these lawns are just amazing. Yeah, I know. The one, the one picture I took um, and used for something, I can't remember what, maybe it was the last Radnor magazine. I just asked the owner, I said, do you mind if we, yeah, I, you know. I did that and Melissa said that's not acceptable. She oh, said dear. they have to get written permission from the person okay i mean i think the one though um eugenia that you sent in for the article was like could have been anyone's yard it was yeah. my yard oh it was your yard yes okay i don't think it was yeah the picture i took of the flag was in my yard oh yeah i think it was fine <laughs> <laughs> i have a little native plant plot back there so I put it right in front. It made it look like it was a big thing, but it's actually quite a small area. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I agree, Carol, that it would be nice to show some of those photos since we have had so much interest. I've just been exactly. really impressed, especially after the article, Eugenia, like how many people have emailed in. I have been surprised. Yeah. And I think that it would be great to just post them on socials or on Facebook or whatever and just say, thank you for your interest. Here are the beautiful yards. You know. How many flags have we put out, give it out now, um, Margie? I saw that one woman just came through the other day, so that's not right. out yet. But how many total? I have to add it up now again. Yeah, I contacted her. Um 21. Okay. Okay. Good. The article great. was great. I think that really helped. I mean, that was, that was the impetus of getting all these people interested. Yeah. Well, and the next Radnor magazine that comes out soon, very soon, I think, um, has the article about Penn uh, medicine oh, and Radnor and that picture and that dedication of the flag. Great. Maybe we should start to go to corporations, you know, some of these big corporate centers and say, what can you do to get a flag? What do you do? Why don't you become a part of this and change your ways if they need to be changed as far as pesticide and all that? I mean, we maybe should get a corporate stick on this too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they were very excited. Carol, so. what about putting one at Stonely? Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. And kind of what all that about, though. That's kind what? of what they're all about. That, that's what they're all about, though. Yeah, I mean, but people see it. Exactly. They drive by. Yeah, it's not about their garden. It's about people who go there interested in native plants and see the flag. Sure. Well, you yeah. want to contact them? And the same thing for it Jeff. sounds like you have a contact there, right? Yeah. I wonder too, you know, when you go there, they have a little stand set up and they're selling these native plants. I wonder if we could coordinate with them and um, could we do it from the par their parking lot or something? Do we have to do it at the township? Well, the doing it at the township is not a problem. Um, it's the before it's part. It's the before part, yeah. The storage and the exactly yeah no it's it was that is major that is major so are we leaving that topic margie you're just going to try and continue to contact amber right and right. we'll go from there and see what right. her involvement wants to be yeah. and then we can work out what exactly who what where when why how much and if it's a, if we can do it exactly right. okay you know i have to get the permission first from the money too which is kind of big a big amount this yeah. Well, if we have Radnor to split it with this year. Yeah, but I mean, won't. if we do it on our own, we'd have to get that. Right, permit. right. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. 
Um, all right, so moving on. Um, Emma, I've been trying to get hold of you, but I don't hear back. <laughs> I've emailed you a few times about this um, career workshop. Um, yes, I'm so sorry. I've been having some trouble with my email. My computer um, got some water on it and <laughs> I haven't had been having access and I'm currently getting drowned by colleges. So I do apologize. I've just been going through my email and I realized you sent me quite a few um, so I'll try to be more aware of that. It's just, yeah, November was a bit of a tough month for me. Um, but did you, you wanted to talk to me about yeah, that? Yeah, so we, I had brought up the idea a while ago of having this environmental careers workshop and um, you, for high school students, I mean, obviously for Radnor students, but it could, could be open to other nearby high school students too. Um, and you had suggested May is a good time. Um, and I just, I mean, you would be able to facilitate um, the, the in with the high school. Um, and, you know, I would try to work on, you know, getting speakers. I, I mean, I know a few people I might be able to call on um, and maybe you know some people, so if we could put this together, I think it would be nice. Um, you know, this wasn't part of our original plan, but it, I think it would be a great thing to get, you know, high school students interested and answer questions about environmental careers. Um, I think you see, like you said, that there aren't that many that are really going into it, which is really a pity. And I think there's going to be tons of opportunities for employment, um, you know? So, yeah. So, um, Emma, yeah, I didn't know you were having troubles. When when you have um, some time, if you would email me, maybe we could set up a time to discuss this. And anybody else here that wants to be a part of this, I would love for more input. Um, whoever yeah, else is I'd, part of this. I'd, I'd be happy, Margie. I mean, it's okay. it's a big part of my job. So I, okay. I do a lot of sustainability related workshops at a quote corporate level. Um, but that's what career paths are all about. Right. So. Right. Oh, that would if, be great to have some people like talking about their careers in that. Yeah. Yeah, if you would like, um, I can meet after tonight, and I also have some contacts from Costa Rica who've been working in environmental science for a few years, if you'd like. Okay. Yeah, well, um, why don't we just, um, anybody, I don't, I don't have the Zoom app to set up. Does anyone want to set up a little Zoom for after the meeting? Um, I can set it up if you'd like. I do have a an account that I can use okay. with unlimited time. Oh, wow. Okay. Or or is it another time better for you? Oh, uh, whenever I'm kind of in, I'm always kind of busy. So I'm okay making okay. some time tonight. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So let's see, it's 725. So like at eight o'clock, would that be good? Yeah, is that that's perfect. Right? Yeah, I, I, I won't be able to join tonight. Okay. Well, maybe why don't I email you and we, you both of you, and we set up a time that can all make it. Yeah. Okay. That's great. I'm glad, well, glad, um, Emma, you got things worked out. Um, that probably didn't have a very good impact on your schoolwork either. I uh, know I'm, I'm unable to use half of my keyboard right now, so oh. I'm having a fun time. <laughs> oh, gee. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, okay, so that's anything else. Was anybody wants to join in or or add to this um, thoughts about the career workshop? Okay, is there any other um, what well, old business or new business? Um, I actually have a sort of a new business. Um, and that is, are you all aware of the, the Wayne Preserve? <laughs> to put quotations around it, the Wayne Preserve. 
Is that on South Devon Road in Conestoga? I was yeah. going to ask you all about that. I drove by this weekend. It's well, the way well, Armageddon right now. <laughs> what, what's going on there? What's happening? So anyway, I checked with Melissa and I got, I'm going to share it with you. I'll give you a little background while I bring this up. Um, you all see that? Uh -huh. Do you see this on the screen, the update on project? A dog yeah. park, a real life one with a fence? Well, it's, there's a lot to that. Okay, so the story is that they got a grant to, this is an area that borders on the Radnor Trail, and specifically the Radnor Trail Park, which they're calling here the dog park, which actually is not a dog park. Um, and so they got, the township got a grant to um, work on this because it's so full of invasives. So the plan was, and you, it's posted on the web township website, you can look at it, was to remove a certain number of trees um, to facilitate the removal of tons of like um, invasive bushes and plants. And they even gave the specific numbers of trees and everything. And then they give the specific numbers of trees that will be replanted and the live stakes and so forth is very specific. And then like, just like Eugenia, so I live only a block and a half away from there. Um, I happen to notice they're just bulldozing every, everything's gone, everything going, every last living, green thing. <laughs> um, and so I asked about it. And um, so they, the township engineer sent me this updated plan and the day and the times, and then said that, yes, upon further review, it was determined that essentially all the trees need to be removed to set the stage for a more vibrant native landscape. So no, you know, nobody asked us. <laughs> um, to me, it's a disaster because um, you're not, you're gonna start with new plants on that whole area. There's no, you know, older trees to help sustain it, to help hold in the water, which that was a big piece of this was water man, was flood management. Um, there's nothing right now that can be done anymore, but I just thought I would inform you all. Um, you know, we, I guess, should have been more proactive to find out. Apparently Shade Tree and Parks and Rec gave their okay to the plan. We were never consulted. Um, and it's neither a park or a recreation or Shade Tree. It's a, was supposed to be a preserve where nobody goes. Um, huh. So this is the status I just thought I'd share with you. And um, the stuff's being bulldozed. So there's not anything we can do at this point. So oh, Margie, I'm- I have written in order to find second. out what- Go ahead, no, go ahead. In order to find out whether they were looking for volunteers or anything to help all this planting. But apparently the the company that's been hired is going to do that. And I'm sure it's a lot easier for them just bulldozing everything down, but that's not what they were approved for. That's not what the approval was. It did look like there were still some large mature trees left unless they, I mean, I drove past I that this weekend. Maybe right on the, along the, the street, maybe. Yeah. But so just maybe I'm a little dense about this. The idea was to just remove a number of trees and this, that, and the other and replace them with some natives. And how did it get so out of hand that they just bulldozed everything except for a few native tree or big trees? I don't know. It's, it just says here, yes, upon further review, it was determined because I said, it looks like everything's going. So this is his answer. For the review, it was determined that essentially all the trees need to be removed to set the stage for a more vibrant native landscape. That's pretty, pretty vague. 
may, may big. suggest we talk to uh, the shade tree uh, folks just to see what, make sure they're aware of this and also uh, why they support it. Okay. Yeah. And there's no talk of draining that because that was my understanding too, that they kept that the way it was because it was a great basin for uh, stormwater issues. Yeah, yeah. And and of course, the, that's the thing, the older trees, even the invasives um, would help hold down the water better than, you know, like brand new little plants. Um, but uh, it's, I think it looks appalling. I almost had an accident driving by. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I know. And yeah, then, I'd like I'd like to find out what what is that kind of vague verbiage. Well, it was determined that yeah. it'd be better to take them all down. I mean, has anybody looked at the parks and recreation page that he mentions? I'll I'll see if there's. Well, any. I did <laughs> I did look at it's on the on the township web yeah. page about the specifics. You can find it, um, you know, just by by googling um, Wayne Preserve Radnor Township and. There, the plan is on, you, you'll get the plan. Yeah, I found it. Yeah. Well, what's done is done there, but yeah, I, what's done I, is I done, personally but I would like to find out a little more, more about how we got yeah. here. So this doesn't happen elsewhere in the township. Oh, we did the same thing at Wayne Preserve. It was successful. Yeah, you know, how, how did this happen? Yeah. Right. Especially because it's called a preserve. <laughs> Nothing was yeah. Were the trees yeah. non-native? You can read it in the, the I'll read it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the work taking place in the West Wayne Preserve will consist of grading the area to detain stormwater storm water runoff. Via an outlet structure, the runoff is slowly released through an existing pipe, which we will be rehabilitated under the Radnor Trail. A myriad of plantings will provide EFO, EFO evaporation. To complete this work, 406 trees will be removed and of which 60 trees are deemed viable. The current stand of trees in the preserve are declining over mature stand of ash and other pioneer species with very aggressive invasive understore species and no regeneration of native plants. The township's arborist estimates that if left untouched, the entire wooded parcel would give way to 100% invasive dominant stand in 15 to 20 years. The township will be replanting the area with 106 trees, 95 shrubs, 652 live stakes, a bunch of bare root and woody shrubs, and two acres of upland seeding. It was approved by the Shade Tree Commission, Parks and Rec, and the Board of Commissioners. So they who, who is, out 406 is, trees to replace it with 106 trees. So that's enough. I mean, they're adding shrubs and stuff, but that's a loss of 300 trees. Who is the township arborist? Is that John Hosbach? Yes. Who's is anybody going to take on the role of talking? And I'm more than glad to just touching base with Jay Tree to say, huh? Does anybody want to do that? Because I have no problems doing that. It sounds like you're volunteering, Eugenia. Volunteering. <laughs> volunteering. <laughs> I will. Can you post that, can you post that link where in the chat? This came from. What was that, Ray? I did post it in the chat. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. um, well, that, thanks, Eugenia. Um, so is there any other old business or any new business? I I just have something, it's hard to believe because this Christmas or the winter issue isn't out yet, it should be out soon, but we have to start thinking because in another 10 weeks, um, they'll want our text for the spring Radnor magazine. And so just people start thinking about what would be good to put in. We put in this time, um, re, uh, um, uh, Dan's, uh, synopsis of Dan's green, <clears throat> excuse me, green team work. And we have in a picture and the pen medicine, you know, echo friendly um, yard flag. There's also, of course, we split it with shade tree. Um, but what is, does anybody think or have any ideas for what they would want to put in a couple of articles for the next one? Um, I did not, when we last spoke, I said I would put in a couple sentences about people and their interest in composting and they're just wasn't room and I wanted to think about it more just as opposed to saying, you know, what do you think? You know, what do you want to know? So I wanted to come up with some sort of better ideas, but 
So people start to think about what you might want to see in. I mean, and if maybe, for example, we were early talking about um, a recycling lecture, which I think is great, but if there is a concern that it won't bring enough people in, maybe that's a great article to have. Did you know your recycling is A, B, C, D, E, F, G? But but we do need to start thinking about that right after, right after, um, not right after, but soon after the holidays. Yes. Uh, Margie, before we close, we do have a member of the public with their hand up, Laura Luker. Just okay. wanted to be aware of that. Okay, Ian, could you let that person in? Hi. Sorry, sorry, Laura. I'm not seeing the hands up. That's okay. I I've been like chomping here, wanting to say so so okay. many things. Oh my goodness. So um, hello everybody. Um, uh, this is Laura Luker, and I'm from the Radnor Conservancy. Um, I am uh, I've been a board member for years. I've been a president for years, and I'm just here to kind of give our, our two pieces of information that we know of what's going on with um, our projects and how we can help with your projects. And first of all, I just wanted to touch base on um, all of the, your lecture ideas. I truly think, Margie, that you should talk to Amber about what you're doing because she can really help you with so many aspects of that. Um, Amber is really busy. She is trying to put out a newsletter as we speak, plus the holidays, plus everything else that's been going on with her um, new role as the executive director. So don't worry. It's not because she doesn't want to get back to you. I pretty much guarantee she would like to work with you on the native plant sale. It probably would be a combination, though, of a native plant sale with the Conservancy and you guys. Um, That's what we did last year, yeah. Right. But as you know, the Conservancy also did their own separate uh, plant sale. No, this is a plant giveaway. This is a freebie. Right. Yeah. And I don't think that this would be a plant giveaway. It's just yeah. too, it's too labor or too, it's financially really challenging unless there was money for it. And I don't really know what the Conservancy would have to give as a donation for that, but I do know that it is one of the programs that we like to do every year in the spring. Um, it takes a lot of work, you guys, as you know. I, I'm actually the one who put or holds all those plants in my, my uh, yard and waters them for a good month and a half um all right just a minute we're talking about two different things because last year i know you are we had a giveaway and then we split that cost with you and right. then the conservancy had their plant sale right yeah. and i honestly don't know if we could do both of them but i think we could try to do one of them and that's where we'd have to find out from the conservancy board and Amber, how she would like to do that. Would she like to just do one as a giveaway or one as a sale? Because um, all those plants got ordered at the same time. They got right. potted up by you guys at one point and it got potted up by our team as well. Um, so it doesn't make sense to do two things. So it makes more sense to collaborate together and figure out how to do this for the, the public. If it's a giveaway, great. We just have to find the funds for it. So, so something to talk to her about. Um, also, um, I, I think the lectures that you guys have uh, planned are awesome. The recycle, Lecture is so important. So many people are so frustrated. They don't know what's going on. And I think it would be really nice to get to the bottom of this, to find out where our trash is going and how we can better minimize that. So I think that would be a wonderful um, uh, thing to do as well. Um, and I guess 
I have one, I have one other thing, and then I have a few, I have a few other things. The Wayne Preserve, I'm really shocked that you guys have not had any, they haven't talked to you about this. This is just so disappointing. This has been on the books for over a year and it's a stormwater project. That's what this is all about. So they have that whole area that they have clear cutted is going to have a retention system put in there. So they have to grade it. And they're gonna put another one in on the other side where they call the dog park, which as you said, it's not a dog park, but, and they'll ret they're gonna open that up, dig that all out and put another retention center over there. And then these things will be all replanted. Most of those trees are invasives, like 90% of them all are invasive or are dead, which is not bad to have dead trees in there, but they do have to clear cut a certain amount to get these basins in. Um, the real task is gonna find out is to see who's gonna maintain these new plantings. Yeah. The company that is doing it has said that they have a year but a year is not enough, as you know. But somewhere I read three years that there's a agreement. Okay, well, I'm not quite sure for it, but still three years is not, you no, know. No, it's not. Yeah, so, you know, this is this is gonna be a, a trick for them, but I mean, shame on them for not getting you guys involved. I really think that this is ridiculous that ever, nobody's talking to, I mean, the EAC of all committees should be top of the pyramid of, of this type of information, especially when it comes to stormwater and native plants and trees. I mean, geez. So um, I would really say something to them as a whole on that. Um, I also just wanted to be kind of a, a, a reminder of some pretty um, important uh, groups to keep your eyes on, as you guys know. We Conserve PA is a great group um, and their emails for their EAC network, their monthly letter is so full of information. I hope you guys are aware of that. Are you all aware of them? Yes, yes. I Earlier yep. in the meeting, um, I talked about their, their network. Oh, you home. did. Oh, good, 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 good. Sorry, I didn't hear that. And you know that they have one on in February 24th. Did you That's use one? That? Yeah. Okay, good, perfect. Um, and, you know, you guys might want to submit something about the, the lighting that the township has done. I mean, where's, wasn't that through you guys that you made that them interested in making that change? I don't think so. No? I'd love to take oh, okay. credit for that. They just passed a whole new... Um, type of lighting they're going to change over Radnor's yeah, lighting. Yeah. Um, and then the other plug I really want to talk about is Birdtown. And I really would love to have somebody on on this committee be on the Birdtown Town Radnor team because they're they really are the ecological side of the um of the EAC. And every bird town that I know of, which there are now 56 of them, is an EAC bird town. So there's so much information, so many programs that are going on. I think you guys would really benefit having uh, somebody on that committee and be kind of, you know, a conduit to all of that information. So just wanted to, if you have any questions, anybody who wants to be involved in that, you can contact myself, Laura Luker, and um, I can share that contact for you guys. So that's all I really wanted to say. I, thank you, Laura. Sorry, yeah. sorry, I didn't, I don't, for some reason, I'm not seeing the raised hands. That's okay. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> all right. Thank you, though. I appreciate it. Thanks. Margie, can I say just one more thing? Because I know we're all itching to go um if the recycling it sounds like it really could bring in a lot of people and there's an interest based on what we say and what we know our friends want and what laura was saying and so forth 
Um, why don't we make what if we can get an idea of when that might be, you know, sort of what 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 Saturday or whenever um, we can make that one of our articles, just a small the basics of recycling, what happens in Radnor, you want to know more, you need to know more, we have this event, this lecture on XYZ date. So if we can also get dates of our lectures into the Radnor magazine, if there's time, if there's time, you know, that's a good thing too. So maybe that could be one of our short articles, you know, a paragraph on recycling and come to this lecture. Okay. Sounds good. Um, yeah. I mean, I think that's a great, I think people read that magazine. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Eugenia, uh, when, when again is the deadline for getting you uh, postings for the Radnor magazine? For well, it's done now. Um, for 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 the December issue or the winter issue that comes out, I think in a couple of weeks. Right. Um, but the deadline then for the spring one, which I think comes out in January, February, maybe March, end of March. Um, I believe is the beginning of March for us. So really, once we get through the holidays, you know, eight weeks, sounds like a long time, but we all know it isn't. We get busy with other stuff. Right. But it'd be great if we could at least get, um, if, if some of these lectures come to fruition and they're held after it comes out, we could advertise it there. And But particularly we could do a nice lead or a nice tease into the recycling one and really get a good, a good turnout, hopefully. Right. I, I was also thinking about the energy audit of the municipal buildings. Uh, if, yeah. if the results of that if, uh, are available to the public in January or February, a, a quick... That would be great. Be yeah. Uh, it'd be a powerful message to the community. And, and also, I'd like to get in that blurb about what do you all think about composting, but obviously a few key questions that they can answer, not just what do you think? I just didn't have time to focus on it. Yep. All right. Okay. Anything else? Okay, then I will adjourn the meeting. Thank you all. Thank one, you. One, Marge, Margie, uh, the, there was an email from Melissa on the comprehensive plan update for the township. Uh, I behoove everybody to see if they can get on that uh, uh committee that uh or or just that it's just i think that's the survey right yeah the, the uh it's the thing that you fill out as a as a resident right yeah yeah well there's a virtual community workshop uh that you can sign up for as <clears throat> so we need to know what's going on in the township what they're planning for uh growth Anything else? So we'll adjourn the meeting for real. Thank you. Okay. Thank you all. Happy holidays, everybody. Happy holidays. Thank you. Thank bye you. Bye. Bye. Thank you all.